also need another way to get around Hartford today, though. We were talking about the structure yep. fire. The highways are okay, but some secondary roads might give you trouble. That's because Main and Albany streets will remain closed while crews are work to tear down the building that went up in flames early yesterday morning. Yeah, and I was on the scene all morning while crews battled that fire, and they had to work from the outside because there were they were worried that the building was going to collapse. News 8's Noel Gardner is there now to get a look at the demolition. And good morning, Brian and Teresa. Yeah, that massive blaze destroying the vacant building. And this morning, crews have a lot of work ahead of them. They are going to take that building down, and they say they have to. They say it's not structurally sound, and at this point, they're afraid that the building could collapse. There's a police officer here just watching the building, if you will. There's crime scene tape around the building. Now, the fire sparked around 3 45 yesterday morning. That's the time firefighters receive a call. Now you can see flames just ripping through the building. It took firefighters hours to get the fire under control. This happened on the 1300 block here of Main Street. And police arresting 46 year old Kenneth Anolte. Police say he had been squatting in the building for at least two months and he was burning a paper bag. Police arresting Anolte, but First, he had to be taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. Anolte is facing some serious charges, including reckless burning. But again, crews uh, will be out here at some point today. They already have the equipment here on hand, so they do have their work cut out for them. I'm live this morning in Hartford, Noel Gardner, News 8.